Hi and welcome to Casual DIY channel. In today's episode, we'll be making a wine bottle holder in a shape of a bottle. Stay tuned. Okay, then let's get straight into it. Um, for this particular project, I'm using six millimeter plywood, and as you can see, I'm just marking the uh, the length that's required for this project which is 52 centimeters and I'm using my sickle saw uh, to cut it down to size after that we'll move on to the table saw to uh, cut out the correct wideness that's required which is in total 22 centimeters Now it's time for the fun part of making the design. At this point I'll use a double sided tape um, to connect both pieces together when we're going to be cutting the shape on the bandsaw. And now it's time to cut out the holes for the wine bottles. And there you go guys, this is the main shape that we after. Now we need to separate the two uh, pieces, uh, come off like that. And the next step is actually we need to take off one of the bottlenecks uh, of one of the pieces. We'll do that on the bandsaw now. And now it's time for a bit of sanding. As everything is nicely sanded right up to 180, I'm going to be attaching the hinge now. I'm using one of those. Obviously, this one is an absolute overkill, but unfortunately, I don't have a smaller one. So, this is what I'm going to be using. Just a quick reminder, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and push that bell notification button so you don't miss any of my future videos. That wasn't too bad at all! So, all singing and dancing here, but obviously you know, there's nothing stopping this from just sliding out of position and breaking your precious bottles of wine. Therefore, we need to come up with a uh, stop that will stop uh, those two pieces from spreading apart. And um, you know, there's many ways of doing this. It all depends what you've got in the garage. And for me, it will be, well, for me, I'm going to be using these um, tiny um, eye pins not sure if you can actually uh, 
let's see them and some um, leather strap um, obviously as I said you can use really whatever you've got in your garage even a piece of string will do you can just drill holes through there and you know that will stop it from spreading apart but let's get to it As a finish for this project I'm just going to be using some furniture waxes you know it's up to you what you're going to use uh, you can use some uh, polyurethane uh, you can use some uh, shellac or you know you can actually paint this to uh, uh, match your color schemes in your house and now a bit of buffing on this second coat And there you have it guys yeah it's holding the wine fairly steady there's uh, no much of a issue there and it's looking pretty cool as well obviously you know you can you can um, go a bit more fancy with something like this you can put some signs you can personalize it and the size is up to you I went with six holes you can go with four or three or you know really whatever you want Right then guys, so let's summarise the project. Overall, um, fairly easy to make, cheap materials, but obviously you can use whatever you want. Finishing is up to you. You can put some signs, you can make it bigger, smaller, more holes, less holes, really whatever rocks your boat. One point for the future guys though, one thing you have to be um, careful of, and I've made this mistake actually making this, um, I've rounded the edges at the bottom and that wasn't a good idea because when you put your bottle at the top and that's the only bottle because they're rounded it will lean over so um for this one i'll have to make another one with some square edges or actually make it a bit wider as well so a bit of a tip there don't make the same mistake as i did but fortunately enough it's as easy to make as nothing so you know knocking another one will take no time at all so I hope you got inspired by today's video, today's little project and if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave me that like button below, comment as well and I hope I'll see you next week on my next video and my next woodworking adventure. Till then, take care.